Hello everyone, and welcome back to the... <clears throat> Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Where today, we are going to do one more greedier mode run as Apollyon. Because we simply have not done enough greed mode this week. There is lunch waiting for us, which I'm a little bit tempted by, especially since it's a um, mm, little bit less tempted now. <laughs> uh, I'm a little bit tempted by it just because it is a regular basement, so it should be a little bit easier, maybe. Um, but with the soul hearts for three coins, I don't know, but mm, I'm gonna check this out for a second, see if there's anything good over here. That is two bombs. And I think with that, I'm just going to take lunch. Don't worry about it. That way, we're going to have some extra health to work with. It's not a startup, unfortunately. And uh, I would rather have eaten it, I think, with our active item there. But eh, we can probably make some use out of this anyway. So we're probably going to be fine. Still have that one button on my gamepad getting stuck. So that's going to be exciting. It means I'm going to shoot down when I don't want to. So hopefully... I can actually remember that before the next run and actually try and fix that in some way or another. But for now, we're just going to shoot downwards a little bit more frequently than I perhaps intend. So far, the waves are being kind enough at least that it doesn't matter too much, but it is causing a little bit of concern to me. I'm somewhat tempted to press the button right now just to sort of simplify things here a little bit at the top of the screen there, but... I don't know, so far, they're not exactly coming close to me. Uh, this might be a little bit more of a mess since those enemies can spawn things, but if we can just get rid of those as quickly as possible, then we should be okay. That champion is concerning me a little, but... We are running out of enemies, actually. We're not, like, exactly getting overwhelmed. It just feels like it, <laughs> which is also not great. Also, we just got hit by a champion, which is not ideal either because that deals a full heart of damage of course but we're getting through this kind of this is a little bit of a concern but if we can get one of them there we go there we go look at that enemies are dying we're not quite <laughs> we're not dead yet at least that's that's about as good as that's gonna get i think but uh, we are a little low on health. I'm happy I took lunch, I suppose. Otherwise, we, in our other health situation, would be dead. So that's, of course, not ideal. A uh, little tempted by the soul hearts for three coins, but simultaneously... Um, buying soul hearts this early in, in a greed mode run isn't great, just because you're going to end up losing them all. But then again, for three coins, it doesn't really matter too much. It's a tricky one, I'd say. First, let's just see what is available in the other item room. Because if there is a health up in there, then that would obviously change things a little bit. There is no bombs here that we can buy, which is a little unfortunate. Because that would have been nice. Pay to play. That... I probably should have put that in the void thinking about it, but not having to spend five coins on keys each floor is actually kind of nice. It means we're going to have to spend one coin on every locked door from this point on, and that is ultimately, hopefully, going to pay out. Uh, I'm going to buy two hearts just because I'm a little worried about my health situation. But yeah, it's, it's an unusual choice, I'd say, especially with the void being what it is. I think that definitely wouldn't have been a terrible choice, but I think given that we've gotten this so early in the run, it should probably pay off at least a little bit. Uh, we effectively got our money back for uh, that we spent on the key, I think, as well, so that's pretty good. So, hopefully, yeah, just gonna hope that's gonna work out. It at least no longer requires me to save money for keys, which is nice. If there is golden chests, we'd need keys for that, but that's about it, really, so that's not too bad. Ran into Larry Jr. there, but fortunately Larry is uh, not a boss that deals a full heart of damage from the look of things. So that worked out. <laughs> uh, it's getting a little crowded here, though, but... Nothing here can actually spawn anything, so if we just take our time and focus on the scary things, then we should be able to deal with all the dangers here. If 
And only if I stop running into the enemies, of course. <laughs> now, that is currently my main source of worry, but once we're through this, we'll more or less be done with the basement, so that's at least something that is rather nice. Because the basement is the place for a greedier, mo road, greedier mode run to fail on most days, so if we can just get past that first, that initial hurdle, then it does make the run from that point on feel a little bit better. So there you go. Time to deal with Monstro for a while. Not the scariest boss in most instances, but Apollyon is a bit of a cursed character in that. Just has a tendency to die to things and that would ordinarily not kill other enemies. But then we just get a random red heart out of a poop and you remember that life's not so bad. It's just that it takes a while to kill some bosses. I don't recall ever hearing the boss music actually last quite this long. So it's interesting to at least experience that for once. But all in all, just a little bit unusual. Let's see if uh, we can get something good out of this. And with something good, I mean I'm definitely not going to check the devil deal and just go for angel rooms instead. But still, let's hope that we manage to survive this at least, because this is getting worrying. I don't like that he's a champion. I don't like how long it's taking for his health to go down. There were a bunch of spiders there, which he's spawning, and that's no fun. It's just a bit rough. It's a rough start. It's a rough start, and that is every single Apollyon run I've ever had in greed mode for some reason. It's just a cursed character. And I cannot explain why my runs with this character are always so weird. They always just feel slightly more difficult than most other characters in this game for some reason. And there's, like, stat-wise, there is no reason why that's the case. There is no, <laughs> seemingly no reason why this character feels so much more difficult than some other ones. Because, all things considered, I do feel like this character should in even just be easier, just because you have some extra uses out of items that are ordinarily just a little terrible because of the void. But instead, it just ends up just being a really rough time most days. <laughs> Uh, whatever, we're almost out of the basement and then we don't have to worry about this nonsense anymore, so that's at least kind of nice. Just one more champion waiting to explode into our face, there we go. Ooh, and 10 coins from that, so all in all, not too bad. Uh, tempted by the soul hearts, but I think I'm just going to keep on going and hope that I don't take any damage here. Maybe we'll get like pajamas or something, and then I don't want to have bought a whole bunch of soul hearts just to not actually end up using them, you know, so. I'd rather just risk it. Get in there for one coin. That's pretty good. That's less good, so I'm willing to eat that for a little bit of tier 8, and we still got the range anyway. But this is pretty nice. 20% chance to block tiers, actually. Like, I knew it blocks stuff sometimes, but I never was quite sure when or why or what. And there's just another soul heart on sale, so I guess that's just happening now. No, no effect on that, unfortunately. Uh, I'm just gonna check the curse room again, since we do have some stuff available here. If this is a bad trip, it would have been pretty rough. Fortunately, it was Horf, which I definitely will not be able to hit the right thing with, so I'm just gonna... Was hoping for a secret room there, but unfortunately was not there. Uh, let's just get ourselves a reroll, I think. Hey, look, it's pajamas. <laughs> yeah, that seems about right, doesn't it? Um, I'm gonna buy this just to get the next item. Little baggy, God. That's not exactly what you want either. Pajamas is tempting just because of all of it, all the reasons, really. I'm just gonna do this, I think, and then uh, start recharging that. I wouldn't mind just buying a whole bunch of stuff, really, and then eating it all. Like, I wouldn't mind having the sprinkler in the void, because I think that's gonna just end up being kind of nice to have during the uh, Ultra Greed fight, for sure. But I would really like this champion to be gone, and it is just so healthy, and it's going to cause a big mess. I'm actually just gonna press the button. It ultimately doesn't matter too much in terms of finance with this character, fortunately, so... I actually don't mind just getting rid of this wave of enemies, because that champion was just so in the way. With with the low stats that I currently have, I can't exactly afford really sturdy champions to just hang out for long periods of time, so I'd honestly rather not bother with that. 
A uh, little tempted to go for that demon beggar as well, especially with pajamas there. That'll heal us up entirely at the end, but we'll see what we end up getting um, through all of this at the end of the day. Good God, look at this nonsense right here. And there's a, I was going to say, there's a chance it's going to turn into a skeleton afterwards, and of course that happens. It is so rough. This really, I, I genuinely feel like this shouldn't take this long to kill these enemies. <laughs> and it very clearly does. And once again, I'm actually just going to go for it. Just because there is so many champions here, like what is happening? <laughs> I don't even really have like a champion's belt or anything else that makes these champions appear. It's just entirely filled to the brim with champions for some reason. The game just decided to be... Uh, a little more rude today than normal, I suppose. It does make the pajamas a little bit more interesting and the demon beggar a little bit less interesting since I don't want to spend a whole bunch of money just buying hearts uh, in order to give them to the demon beggar at the end. I will just use this now immediately, I think. Uh, just to have that sprinkler in there. I won't buy the heart. I'm hoping I can get away with that. Uh, also... Might want to see if I can get this uh, thing fully recharged again before we actually go into the angel room because that would make the doing the angel fight a little bit more interesting. I'd have to get a bomb too as well, I suppose, but that's not usually impossible. Not always possible, I suppose, in this mode, but it sounds doable enough from first expectations. Uh, that was a, a bad hit there, because now if I get hit by the champion, I'm dead, and there is a champion over there as well. A sneaky invisible one, perhaps, but a champion nonetheless. But this one worries me a little bit more with his little tears that he shoots on occasion. But that one can shoot tears too, so that's a, just a lot of fun. <laughs> I might just buy the pajamas immediately after this wave, because this is getting really worrying. It's a rough one. It's a really rough one so far, but we're getting, we're getting through it. We're getting through it. Come on. <laughs> we're kind of getting through it. I can't actually hit this one enemy because of a singular mushroom being in the way, but other than that, it's going peachy. There we go. All right. Um. Yeah. Don't have a bomb that I can buy. I will buy this. I'm not going to re-roll. I will have a charged up uh, void when we reach that wave, but I'm just not going to do anything with it, I think, because it's just, it's not going to work out. It's not quite going to work out, unfortunately. This is also just really awkward. You know what? We're going to use the button a lot today. <laughs> just because it is taking so long to clear anything here. I just do not have the damage available to actually do more than that. Which again, it is just unusual. It, it does feel like... Like my items obviously aren't great, but we did get a little bit of extra tier 8 at the start there. God, that enemy takes so long to kill. It is a womb enemy usually, I think, so... Kind of surprising that this enemy even spawns those, I guess, but that's why it's a champion, I suppose. But it is a little bit of a concern when that happens and you suddenly spend 8 days trying to kill one enemy. <laughs> Uh, I suppose the angel fight would also be just a little rough as well, just because it would end up taking years to actually finish the fight, but uh, it's tempting to try and get one bomb at least. Where's that heart? Over here. It's over there and not really reachable, unfortunately. Um, I'm still thinking about just giving the demon beggar a bunch of hearts, especially now that I um, have full red hearts and some soul hearts as protection. I might be able to get away with it, but it is a, it's a big if, arguably. I also do not mind that we don't that we don't have to deal with the other boss while fighting this one right here because that would have been an absolute nightmare. But it's working out so far. I suppose the main reason I don't have damage is because I do have that host hat. Like it is, the host hat is going to be useful later, I think, uh, especially during the second phase of the ultra greed fight. But of course, it does mean that we don't have any damage, we don't have extra tier rate, all that stuff. So we don't have like an immediately like good item. We don't have a health up, so we can't heal up between fights and stuff like that. So we do end up losing out a little bit because of that. Uh, also, the first floor didn't really have anything. Like, we're having a lot of items that will make the rest of the run easier. In terms of, like, how much money we have and stuff like that. But 
we also end up not having a whole bunch of things at the start of the run, unfortunately. So it does get a little worrying for sure. Unidentified pill. Come on. Um, That's tempting, actually. Power pill? That would have been good to have. Uh, not in the shop itself, <laughs> or if I hadn't already gone to my curse room. I'm gonna leave that there for now, just to see if maybe I want to eat it later, but I'm not sure. Ah, oh, god, this is a nightmare. This is not what you want to see at all at this stage. There is definitely severely easier waves that you could be dealing with at this stage in the game than two of, the, two of these spider bosses at the same time. Jeez. I mean, obviously the spiders are just jumping all over the place, so they're hopefully going to get rid of some of these spiders at least, but... They're spawning so much! <laughs> they're spawning so much! Oh, God. And I do not have the damage to deal with this knot. Like, sometimes you get envy. <laughs> sometimes you just get regular envy. And also sometimes I can't stop shooting downwards, which is not helping me out right now. Oh, God. Look at this nightmare. The speed up would have been a good idea, actually. I should have probably just taken that, but yeah, fair enough. It's a good thing that wasn't a bad trip in that pill, at least, but there is a decent chance of death here. Oop. There we go. I'm just going to stay close to him for now. But it is taking a minute here. Come on. I'm not hitting him. He's behind a mushroom, and I can't, I genuinely cannot quite get to him from here. Are you serious? Oh god, that spider wanted it. <laughs> Who can he spawn little spiders upon death? As spiders sometimes do, I suppose. From a realism standpoint, I understand the choice, but I don't appreciate it. Oy, oy, oy. Okay, so the demon beggar was maybe not the best idea I've ever had, uh, given my health situation right now, but the speed up might end up helping me in the later floors. That's flight. I mean, Jar of Wisps, <laughs> honestly, barely tempting. I'm not sure how it works when combined with uh, the Void, if it's even good. This is at least Flight, so I guess that's kind of nice. <laughs> this is rough. Mm, I can get this now, so that's good. Shot speed down. I'm tempted to eat this, you know, just because speed... I mean, it's good. I'm just gonna do it. It was a damage up. Alright, so that is at least something. We have some damage now, so that's at least kind of nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. We have some damage. We have flight. We're gonna get two more items. Hopefully... Hopefully... No cursed of lying. Figured I'd wait to finish that sentence before we actually get here. I'm not sure how everything jar even works with the void, if it even works at all. I wouldn't be surprised if it would just be the six charge every single time. Uh, either way, I don't really care about it too much. I might put it in the void later. That's nice. It's a luck up. It's some health. Not too terrible. That is the halo. Which, I mean, it's not terrible, but god, I could use just a little more on occasion. <laughs> was tempted to spend some uh, some health to get these bombs, but this will work out a little bit better for sure. Five bombs, I could look for secret rooms as well. Could be here, I mean it could be in so many places, that's really the main downside. Let's just go. Flight is going to help out here a little bit at least, just because those holes are here and we can hide in places like this to make the life a little bit easier, but it is obviously not ideal because now we're kind of stuck here. But if we can just keep getting waves like this, it's not too bad until something comes over and ruins our day. Kind of like that, yeah. Kind of like that. <laughs> until something like that happens, but to that point, it was all right. I'm just gonna press the button again because quite frankly our damage is still pitiful, so we're just gonna just gonna see what the everything jar does really. That's really the main curiosity that I currently have. 
Might as well put that in the thing at that point. We'll also be able to recharge the void once again before we get to the um, the angel room or devil deal. If we get an angel room, we could destroy the angel for the key piece so we can use the void to get one more stat up as well. <laughs> it's taking so long to kill anything. <laughs> It's so rough. Flight is helping out a lot right now, I will say that. Plus it makes us immune to creep, which I'm actually very happy about because that is a, a big worry during this mode as well. There's just not that much room to move, so if there's creep everywhere, then things get really dicey sometimes. So I can appreciate that for sure. Let's just put that in there. Was there anything I really wanted to buy? I mean, Halo's okay. I might use it as a heal later and also get some more tier 8 later on in the fight. That's really the main reason why I'd want to have the Halo, honestly. Uh, speed up would also be kind of nice, I suppose. I mean, I could just get it after these waves if I just run into the enemies like that as well, so there is that. Uh, that is an, an irritating ball. Spectral shots are also helping out quite a bit, actually, just because I can hang out over those rocks. And not worry about life too much. Uh, this is a little bit of a concern, but not like the worst. Yeah, I can just at least sort of safely circle through this, kind of. The champion are not helping out. Oh my god. Uh, please don't kill me, though. Oh my god, I'm actually taking so much damage. Oh, and then this enemy's getting rid of all the rocks, which is not great either. It's a rough one. We're getting so many champions. It's actually... This is, this feels unusually large amount of champions, actually, but maybe I'm just seeing things at this point because it's not going too well. <laughs> but I do feel like we've seen so many this run. Is that just a cool Apollyon thing that I was never aware of? Because that sure would be a cool Apollyon thing to have. Let's just take that, heal up a bit. A little bit more tier rate, a little bit more speed, a little bit of damage, a little bit of range, a little bit of health. Just a whole bunch of little bits, but not quite enough to be noticeable <laughs> in any reasonable regard. But at least we got a little bit of more tier rate and speed, which I suppose is kind of nice. Oh my god. I need to stop running into tears, though. That is becoming a good way to die. If Bloke can just kill Lord of the Flies there, whatever his name is, then that would be ideal. Um... Kind of need you to work with me a little bit here, Bloke, but... Just stand over there for a second. Hello. I walked in front of you. Please do your cool brimstone attack, please. I would really appreciate it if you would just brimstone this boss right here. But it's a little bit tricky to try and do when there's also a hundred spiders everywhere all the time because of this freaking boss right here. Ugh. I need to fix this controller, it is actually becoming a problem that that button is getting stuck. <laughs> oh jeez, this is absolutely a nightmare of a run, but we're at least now in a slightly peaceful situation. Just hang out over here for a moment, wait for an attack, and then switch sides. Ignore the eyes for a little bit here. I need to get him a little bit closer to the bottom now, I feel, just to make life a little bit easier on myself. Uh, which shouldn't be too impossible. There we go. It's gonna take a minute, but we'll get we'll get something done here, surely. The tear explosion from Bloat is at least always identical, I do believe, so... That's working out. Let's just shoot a little bit diagonally over here. And back we go to this nonsense. <laughs> you could also use Brimstone, of course, to, or like his Brimstone attack to sort of make sure that he's always shooting in the same direction and attack him that way. But I feel like this was largely working out until that hit right there. Come on, there we go. Half a heart. <laughs> No worries. Absolutely not concerned about anything. But let me just for fun check out if there's any health over here. Unfortunately, there is not. <sighs> this is this is a dicey run so far, but I'll take it, I suppose. That's not great. 
That is not great at all. Because these enemies can also spawn enemies again, and that's just not what you want to see. I don't want enemies that spawn on their enemies because they are hurting me in ways that I am struggling to deal with. I can't even get past that attack, really. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. This is maybe bad. Maybe okay. Hard to judge. <laughs> maybe I'm fine here. Oh god. Am I safe here? Can I just hang out over this Nope, nope, no, nope, no, 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 no. I can definitely not do that. Not sure which one I should be going for right now because I have just been shooting wildly. Ooh. This is such a scary boss. <laughs> I've never been this scared of this boss before because usually you just have a build that can deal with him so easily, but this time around, it's just terrible. I've never had this terrible of a build before when fighting this boss, I think, and especially not two of them. Yeah, this might this might be the end here. I mean, all right, one's dead. Which is kind of good. It's good in a very arguably way. Yep. If I can just get rid of one more, I might survive this, but I definitely should have bought more health. <laughs> oh god. No, that's not great either. Nope. Ah, uh, he jumped right on top of me. Alright, I'm gonna fix my controller real quick because this is genuinely causing problems that I wasn't expecting. So one moment, please. Alright. I... In the process of trying to fix the gamepad, I have destroyed it, but I found a different one, which I don't think I can place bombs with this properly. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> it, there's not that many bombs in this mode, so that'll probably be okay. I also have another one where I can't actually, you know, uh, move <laughs> properly. So maybe at this point, it is the time where I need to stop, start thinking like, hey, maybe it's time to buy a gamepad that's not horrendous <laughs> and also lasts longer than like the three months that the other one did. So no, I, I got some stuff to think about this week and that's exciting. And it's definitely stuff I need to have done this week as well. Otherwise I will definitely not have a way to play this game next week. So it's, it's, uh, it's all just good stuff really. But it is stuff that for this particular run, I don't need to concern myself with too much, provided that the buttons that I need to play this game work mostly. And uh, I think that level of excitement about this run in particular is what's going to carry me through. It does feel quite comfortable, this controller that I currently am using. It's a shame that the uh, the, the left and right bumpers, this, this is the one where the left and right bumpers just don't work very well, but I kept it just in case I needed like a backup or for whatever reason. and. Well, right now I'm happy that I did, because as it turns out, uh, I shouldn't trust my own hands with trying to fix some s certain specific things every now and then. Because <laughs> apparently it is very easy to remove a USB thing from a cable, so that, or from a, not so much from a cable, from a gamepad. The good news is that I have a nice and long USB cable now, I suppose, so there is that little bit of positivity there. Also, I bought a key that was not on sale when there was one that was, but eh, fair enough. Um, I regret my choice. I still haven't gotten a damage ever. We've gotten plenty of shot speed, so that's good. So far, this first floor is being surprisingly kind, all things considered, so at least given the previous run, but quite frankly, the previous run was a about as big of a nightmare scenario as one can cr reasonably create in the short span of time that we spent on that run. I mean, it did feel quite long, but it was very much a run that was incapable of getting more or less anything done, which was uh, an interesting challenge. We had flight, we had spectral tears, we had ways to get into every single item room, we had even some items, and we genuinely just didn't have anything. <laughs> we just did not have much of a build going on there. And also probably got the worst possible luck in terms of what we were getting out of uh, 
the button presses, so it was it was just a big mess all around. But so far this run is already treating us nicer, even though we're not even getting a regular basement from the start. We're getting just this weird uh, cellar instead, which is usually entirely spider infested. So I'm looking forward to seeing what we get when we press the button one more time here. I'm a little tempted by uh, by this right here, just because it is a speed up and a syringe and all those things together do tend to combine into great times, but let's just see what we get over here. I don't really want to go for devil deals, just because I'm a little bit concerned by the amount of health that I currently have and there's no real great ways to get your health containers back and since we didn't get any health up from the item rooms either I'm just not really feeling that but perhaps this time the angel room will give us something that we can actually use so I will once again just try to go for that I will check out the curse room once again per throw that's not bad it is at least an extra reroll so that's obviously quite nice and I'll just get this key that's over here for one extra half a heart as well. So all of this is working out a little bit better than the previous entire run so far, even though we have genuinely not gotten an item yet. We have gotten some startups at least, uh, and ones that would hopefully technically help us out a little bit as well. Hoping that it wasn't a mistake not to buy like one extra key while it was on sale, but... I mean, it'll probably work out in the end. That is tech zero, which I will just take since the zappies can be a fun time. Um, this is tempting just because it's an everything up. Uh, full health, really? I didn't know that was full health. In that case, I'm actually just going to take this. Should have definitely gone into the curse room first, but fair enough. Too late for that now. But yeah, if that's full health, then that will at least, uh, no matter what happens, just heal me back up again. Plus it will give me an extra red heart container as well, so all in all that is at least some good stuff right there. I was a little bit tempted for sure to uh, consume the thing there. Didn't know that was a <laughs> exploding champion, but it does explain why it took a while for him to die. Uh, this is also getting a little bit precarious with some of these champions over here, so let's just try and take this a little slower because that worked out oh so well the previous run. <laughs> I feel like the previous run shouldn't be used as an example of uh, how to play this game because geez that was such a nightmare. I, that might have been one of the worst greed mode runs that I've had in ages like all things combined with one another. That's not even that's not a red one that's a champion. It's gonna take a minute as well but yeah that one woof. it just everything that could possibly just work against you was just being an absolute nightmare and occasionally the game's like that occasionally the game just doesn't want to help out and well I, I can respect it I suppose but it is a little bit scary when stuff like that happens as uh, we saw there tears up range down that's not too bad it's mostly just standing next to the door in case it's a bad trip. That way I can still like leave the room afterwards, so that's kind of nice. But we have decent tier rate now, so that's quite nice. There is some health over here as well. Black Lotus is usually quite good. I don't love it right now just because it's 15 coins for three hearts, one of which is a soul heart, one of which is a black heart. But yeah, it's not terrible. But I'd rather have something else, I think, at this stage. Like health-wise, we're doing okay right now. Whereas damage-wise, we can still increase quite a bit, I would say. I mean, it's it's got some tier rate going for it, at least, so that's nice. But definitely wouldn't mind a little bit more here. Just going to focus on these enemies for a little bit uh, before dealing with that mushroom again. I like, I kind of like the idea of keeping those two alive, just because they can kill other enemies as well. Like, that one just killed a champion. So I'm going to say that that was arguably quite worthwhile to just keep alive, because... That champion would have taken a while to die otherwise. Uh, similarly, whatever is going to spawn out of the next wave it is probably going to help out a little bit with that as well, assuming we don't get hit by it too much. Uh, yeah, look at that. I actually got rid of a skeleton as well, just uh, at the very end there, so that was quite nice. Could have been a little bit nicer for sure by actually hitting some of these champions as well, and these enemies could have not all turned into skeletons. I, I think one of them turned into flies instead, so... You know, it's not technically the worst case situation, but it's up there. But all in all, 
Still a lot nicer than the previous run, that much for sure. What is that golden chest exactly? I cannot quite reach that because I don't have bombs or flight. So we're just going to leave that alone. I actually wouldn't mind having a bomb. But I might see how much money we have available at the uh, end of the next wave here. Because, well, this boss is just going to float around for a little bit. Hopefully I can avoid it as much as possible during the next fight. Did attack the other ones quite a lot. And then these ones are just going to make a big mess of things probably with the bombs that they throw. But hopefully it's going to be okay. Just going to try to deal as much damage as possible while keeping that boss away. But yeah. This is actually working out fairly well. I was kind of hoping to destroy that mushroom as well, but it didn't quite work out, unfortunately. Uh, but I might just mm, see if we can get some rerolls going. If there is even a reroll machine, I actually didn't check that uh, closely. But if we can reroll a couple of things there, then maybe we can get a bomb and open up that golden chest. Not sure if that's going to be worthwhile. It would be like 10 coins, which is fairly expensive for a golden chest that could just be awful. Yeah, I might actually just not do that. That actually sounds like a pretty terrible idea. I'm going to hit this like a few times. I was kind of hoping for something on sale. This is not a terrible trinket in most cases. Just because in many instances I'm going to have this thing fully charged at some point during the run. I can also just keep it fully charged during the... Um, the greedier fight as well if there's not a good item to not a good active item in there so i think i might just stick with this trinket for sure for five coins i'd say that's definitely worthwhile also so far this is uh, just a lot more manageable <laughs> just look at how much easier this is compared to the previous run already and we barely have anything we have some red health and just a decent amount of tier rate we get this which is absurd uh, we have really only good choices here, but I do like this one the most. Uh, two soul hearts, the flight, all that stuff is just really nice. With flight, might as well go for this. Definitely not worth it. <laughs> but still decided to go for it anyway. And that will be that, I think. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is so much better than the previous run. It's actually a kind of unreal how much better this is than the previous run because it was, like, looking back at it now, it was not good. And this is also just really nice, like that extra tier 8. If we can get some kind of piercing tiers going on, that would be wonderful. Uh, bombs would be nice so we could blow that tinted rock. I don't need this at this stage because my tier 8's almost maxed out. Um, this is not really... I mean, the Dreamcatcher is a little tempting, but it, it's it's a liar in, in this mode, which is not great. Um, and we're only gonna... We're gonna get, like, half a Soul Heart per floor with, like, a couple more floors. It's, like, really expensive for Soul Hearts. So let's just leave that alone for now. Not really too interested in any of this either. I mean, Plan C could be kind of interesting, but other than that, not so much. And this is an item that's on sale that I would actually kind of like to have. So we're just going to leave it at that. No bombs, unfortunately. Uh, forgot to buy a key, which is a shame. But we'll just figure that out later on in the run, I suppose. Also, I should remember that I have a brimstone attack. That's probably not a terrible thing to remember <laughs> because it is fairly powerful. I do miss my Spectral Tears, unfortunately, but quite frankly, if I have to give up Spectral Tears to get the rest of this build, I would probably say yes. So all things considered, this is probably still the better build, even without Spectral Tears. Just have a hunch. <laughs> Just have a hunch that this is working out. Just a little bit better than what we were dealing with earlier. But occasionally you do need to get a build that's just awful to... Stay humble, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Occasionally you just need something truly terrible to balance out the good ones. And, you know, we'll just have to deal with those runs when we get them. But preferably, I like them on weeks where I'm playing a little bit more focused, I suppose. And today, this week's just not one of those weeks, unfortunately. Let's see, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get this. Um, I'm gonna hold on. Oh god, okay. Uh, that's a little interesting. I have found out another small issue with this gamepad. 
in that I suddenly can no longer do anything. <laughs> can I just unplug it entirely, baby? <laughs> this is such a ridiculous day. Please. There we go. <laughs> These are not problems that I'm ready to deal with right now. Just please, <laughs> let me just finish this run and call it a day. I don't know how this would actually work with uh, what I have, but I'm just going to eat it, I think. Weird changes in stats because of, uh, well, because of my trinket, really. But I think overall it was a tier 8 up, so I'm going to say that's a positive. That was uh, pretty doable. But yeah, there, there might be points where suddenly I'm going to have to unplug my gamepad because suddenly I can no longer do anything or I'll just automatically move to the right while shooting. Which might be one of the reasons why I also stopped using this gamepad thinking about it now. But those are the things you remember when, uh, <laughs> when playing the game. <laughs> uh, occasionally things just break, you know? Occasionally you just don't... Occasionally it's just not your day. And today is one of them days for me, and I hope that my weirdness of this day is gonna instead balance out for you and just give you a wonderful day instead. Because sometimes these things happen and we're just gonna have to make the best of it. Like I'm holding on to the cable right now with one finger in the hope that it doesn't like weirdly get unplugged so I can no longer do any attacks <laughs> in the hope that it like that's the reason why it, it suddenly stopped working previously. It's a little bit of a... I sure hope this one's gonna work out, but if it does work out, then I'm not too dissatisfied with it. Uh, comparatively to the other gamepad that's currently in pieces. <laughs> um, I mean, Miter's good, but not like amazing, especially not on this mod, but this is obviously pretty great. Just a lot of tier 8, a lot of good times. Uh, I will actually buy this, and I'm definitely going to buy that, and then we're just going to take both of those, which might not be a great idea. Uh, I do kind of like buying that sharp key just so I have five extra keys for seven coins, because that'll just keep me going for the rest of the run. Um... Because we don't need that many keys. But every time I'm going to use the void now, it's going to make the key show up above my head and I might throw it by accident or something like that. But that's not really the end of the world. Um, this doesn't really affect me in a positive way. This might. This might be good. Uh, because if I take damage, I can eat the light bulb and get a different trinket instead. So that might actually be worthwhile. Um, that red card might be good, but it might also just be Wheel of Fortune, so that's not guaranteed success, I suppose. Soul of Judas. Uh, I'd rather have Perthrom. I think if I use Soul of Judas, I don't think I can pick up. Yeah. Would have been nice, but unfortunately not. Didn't quite eat my trinket upon leaving the room there, so that's unfortunate. But let's see if we can do this floor. So far, kind of a rude start, but manageable for sure. Just staying in the bottom here. I'm waiting to use Brimstone for the most part. Just want to hit as many enemies at the same time with this attack as possible. What is happening there? That's so many enemies. Actually, genuinely didn't expect that many enemies to have. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, God. That's a lot of tears that ended up hitting us. Or tears or heads. I'm not really sure what parts... We're hitting what right there, but it was a mess. Yeah, why are there so many of the same? Are they? They might have just all spawned like in different waves, and then all taking up the same space until the very end or something. Maybe that's what happened there. That might be the reason why. There we go. Slowly but surely, we're getting through this. Look at that. Nice and easy wave to end up the womb floor with. Not a problem. Very nice. Uh, I kind of want to use the void to eat that item in the item room, but it's, it is a little bit of a scary choice every time, not just because of 
All right. <laughs> I guess I used my key against that wall and opened up the secret room. It wasn't really anything good inside it. Still, it was uh, definitely a choice that I made on purpose. Um, the rest of this I don't really care too much about. I might fit the battery, actually, just to make life a little bit easier. Against these bosses, I don't mind having that trinket be active. And deal a little bit more damage, maybe have a little bit more tier 8 and stuff as well. My damage is kind of low at this stage, really, so... Wouldn't mind having a little bit more. This is not too worrying, just because of the layout of this room. Because I think I'm more or less entirely safe above this area here. Because there's like a tiny hole and a rock blocking the path to all these other enemies here. So as long as I just make full use of that... We should be okay, mostly. It's a little fiddly, but not like super fiddly, so it's it's manageable for sure. And then finally some pins, maybe some Skolexes. Multiple, I think. Yeah, at least two of them. Can be a little tricky to tell at times, but I think they're still being synchronized so far, and that changed just now. <laughs> Fair enough. I think one is getting low though, so that's good. Not sure which one, of course, because it's a little difficult to keep track of sometimes, but I'd argue that one's pretty low right now. Get both of them. One of them's dead, I think. Very nice. Very good. There's an umbilical cord right there. I guess I ate my trinket. Nice. Uh, in that case, I might want to get another one from the marbles room. Uh, let's just check this out. That's not bad, honestly, but not like super exciting. I don't think I want to get only devil deals from this point on just for that. Uh, these are not super exciting. I might just stick with this. This is fine. There's not another trinket over here, so I think I'm just going to leave like this instead. Oop. Had not anticipated enemies being here, but fortunately it worked out. And with that, onwards to the next floor. So far, okay. It's not the best build ever. It would really benefit from some piercing, for sure. That's not too terrible either. Meat's pretty good. That's at least some extra damage. Uh, this is tempting, just because you get some money from it. Mmm, that's a d6. Uh, I might re-roll it, you know? Kind of a weird choice, maybe, but... I don't think I love having that right now. Just trying to use this item as much as possible. Look at that, five coins already. Oh god, everyone turned into a champion. <laughs> just gonna press that button immediately there, because this enemy right here just ruined everything, so... Not great, but fair enough. Onwards we go. I remember these two. They were previously in a run in a much, much worse situation. <laughs> Whoop. Use that thing. Wait for the trinket to activate again. Seven seconds. Before I can use it one more time. There we go. That's a weird thing to spawn. Ooh, boy. That became a lot scarier than it needed to be. But we're almost done with the waves already, I think. Like two more waves? Yeah. Oh, Ghost Baby. Okay. <laughs> was definitely mentally prepared for an item being there. Very nice. Is this better than the Void? I'm starting to think this might actually be better than the Void. <laughs> Just because you end up getting so much money out of it. Just look at this. I mean, the five coins alone was, I'd argue, worth it, but having this item on a six-room recharge is pretty rough. I'm actually just going to buy this a couple times here. Reroll the rest. Seven coins. Don't need tier eight, so I'm actually going to use per throw here. Get the box, sure. One bomb. Magician could be okay. Can bomb this. Nope. Can bomb this <laughs> for 10 coins. Very nice. Bible. For the Seraphim transformation that I definitely didn't forget about. 
Some more tier A as well. Meat cube, that's pretty decent defense. And some extra damage right there. Pretty damn good. Let's fight some bosses. At a pretty reasonable pace as well. Not sure if I want to buy that health up just in case it might give me like one more damage up afterwards. I'm not sure if I can even afford it at that point. Nope. Yeah, I didn't really dodge. <laughs> I, I didn't move, but you know, it would have still been nice if it worked out. If I get one more coin here, which I might uh, using the item, then it might be worthwhile buying one more thing from that item that's on sale. Got three of these spiders? That would be a terrible thing to be fighting with a bad build. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that situation, though. Surely that wouldn't happen. Surely not. There we go. Angel room. That's piercing. That's damage. I think I'll go with piercing, though, because I think this is just going to be quite fun. All right, so one more coin. Very nice. One more health up. Uh, I'm not... I don't hate it, you know? I actually genuinely don't hate that. Range up, nice. Just get a lot of red hearts, because that's a lot easier to heal, usually. I don't know. I don't really need it, though. That's really the main thing. Is there anything I'd like to consume here? The Bible, I guess. That's really the only thing as well. Maybe I'll just leave the... We're like one floor away from the end. I should just stick with this, I think. <laughs> this might actually just end up being better because we're not going to see any more item rooms. So I might as well just stick with this. Yeah. That's not so strange. Very nice. It's long. As my gamepad just doesn't stop working entirely, we should be okay. Using an active item re-rolls it. That could be fun, you know? Hmm. Curious. Does this also recharge it instantly? Ooh! <laughs> okay. Uh, that's obviously pretty good. Do I have a syringe already? No. Hmm. I mean, it's a shame that we got rid of... Um, the active item that we had there, because now we don't have a working trinket. But we could get two growth hormones. And then maybe one more active item after that to get, like, a, just a trinket to work. I think that'll be kind of worthwhile, for sure. Assuming we get enough money. I don't know how much money we need for this, exactly. Also, I'm not sure why I didn't just use Diplopia immediately. <laughs> so I think I probably just should have, but, yeah, fair enough. I made my choices for good reasons, I'm sure. Could also just use the Plopia to make a whole bunch of money, I guess, but that seems like a less optimal method of using that. Meant to open that door, definitely knew it was there. Uh, getting hit by everything, which is a little unfortunate. Because I also don't know what my health is. Well, I'm getting hit a lot. I need to be a little careful here. The room is not being super kind right now. Oh god. Jeez, okay, this is a little bit of a nightmare, but we're, we're running out of waves, so that's good. <laughs> My damage is real bad. I'm starting to realize. Come on, how are you not dead yet? Like this champion, I've been attacking for like four waves in a row. <laughs> Which is not ideal. I uh, cannot see my health, but we should be at a pretty large amount of red hearts. So if I can buy a red heart then you know I'm in trouble. <laughs> I cannot buy a red heart. So that's fine. Uh, Soul of Judas. I actually... There's a Tinted Rock there. I'm just going to use that to leave them. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to use that. We're going to get Growth Hormones. We're going to get D8 for the Trinket. We're going to get a Luck Down to balance things out a little bit. And we're just going to use the Magician in the room there, because there's two of them. So that's obviously rather nice. Uh, I think I've eaten this trinket, maybe? I'm not actually sure. But we'll see. Let's just use that. This will make the fight a little easier as, uh, well... <laughs> well, that, really. 
should have definitely considered many of these things because having Magician for this fight and the final fight actually is going to make life significantly easier as well. So yeah, probably should have done that from the get-go. Would have made life significantly easier, but you know, the best idea happened by accident. Um, this is a little late. It's all this a little late, isn't it? Jar of Wisps? It's all just not great, but I guess I'll take this in case I find a soul heart somewhere. There it is. It was all for that one luck up. Alright, so let's take that. And let's get spun. Let's get a range up. Range up. And yeah, let's just hope this is enough. I, I mean, it should be. Let's also enter the secret room. Ah. I mean, yeah, this, <laughs> by, by all means, this should be enough damage and health to live. Uh, especially with those last couple of soul hearts we got at the end there. Uh, but, eh, technically my gamepad could just break apart again. <laughs> that would make it more difficult. Uh, but I think we're okay. That's really nice. One more fight to go and then I can just have a little bit of a rest been just a little bit too much this weekend, you know? With this weekend, I of course mean the weekend where I'm actually recording this and not whatever day you're watching this. I mean, it should come out on a Friday, and if you're saying that your weekend's already too much on Friday, then I mean, that's just a little rough. I guess it depends on when your weekend is, because I guess some people don't have weekends in, um, or at all, I guess, but also just don't have weekends on specifically Saturday and Sunday, I suppose. Um... But I, I, I am starting to feel somewhat confident that this build might be good enough to make it to the end, provided that technology doesn't get in my way. <laughs> uh, and then I can finally get some rest, and that would just be lovely. I've been waiting for that, for, for that little bit of rest for years. And I, for one, am looking forward to it. Piercing with... Uh, with the zappies is just a lot of fun. Piercing with homing tears combined and the zappy zaps, that's just a lot of good stuff going on. I think that all those things combined end up dealing a large quantity of damage, so it's it's, it's good to see that this is all kind of working out this way. I need to get a little bit better at dodging those coin attacks from his eyes, but other than that, I'd argue that this is working out flawlessly. There's not that many coins here, weirdly enough. Not the worst thing in the world, I suppose, but... I'd love a little bit more money to put in the donation machine at the end. But if we don't get it, then that's fine. It's not like there's any more unlocks tied to it anyway, so it, it's all just for show at this point. But still, it would just be nice to see. Hey, I did a dodge! <laughs> I did a dodge of the coin attacks when he was actually kind of close to me. That's nice. I'm just gonna take all of this. He's jumping again. If I can just keep doing those dodges, I'm less concerned about life. And that would be lovely. As long as I just don't stand right next to the wall. Maybe that's just all that's needed. There we go. I think we might win this one. It's not guaranteed yet, but odds are looking good. There we go. Very nice. That is the black rune in the basement, which I really should have unlocked ages ago, because that is just a pretty good way to get rid of terrible things on occasion. So, very happy to get that out of the way. One more coin. Very nice. And that is greedier mode completed as Apollyon. And according to my recording time, it only took 1 hour and 46 minutes. So that was a record time greedier mode run, I would say. That was filled to the brim with nonsense, technical troubles, and other such nastiness. But either way, I hope you all enjoyed it so far regardless. Next time we play, we'll be doing a different run with a different character and probably a different controller. And I hope to see you all there. Bye bye.